Hello and welcome back to another edition of Cake Tap Reviews. Uh, today on tap, we do not have a beer. Um, on our website, we get so many hits um, looking for the appropriate glassware for beers that I thought it was only appropriate to go ahead and to, 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 to come up with a video that really highlights and showcases what beers go which would go with which glasses it can be so confusing you have tulip glasses pint glasses pilsner glasses you know another pint glass you have goblets got you know where where does it end what goes with what sometimes even i get confused i don't remember all the time but um you know you have your staples once you find out what glass you uh what size style of beer you enjoy you'll pr probably only use one or two of these so uh, let's weed through all these and and see what we come up with here in terms of what beer goes with what style. So once you find the style of beer that you like, uh, beer you like, just stick with the glass and and just just run with it. My most versatile versatile glass, well for me, is probably this tulip glass because I drink a lot of Belgian Belgian light ales. Uh, so this is probably the one that I use the most out of all of these here. Um, but you know, for you, you might use the the Pilsner glass, which is more for lagers, or the, the goblet, yeah. we'll, we'll get into them. We'll run down uh, the, the more popular ones and, um, you know, hopefully give you an, a better understanding and idea of what glass to use with what beer. So let's get started here, and I think first we will go with the Pilsner glass. Okay, so the first glass we have up is our Pilsner glass. Um, this glass is really designed to showcase the beer. That's why it's tall, slender. You could, when you pour it, you'll see uh, the bubbles coming off. You'll see the golden hue. You'll see the head. It'll be showcased there. Um, and this is really used for lagers, uh, primarily lagers. I mean, you can use it for whipped beers too, but you really want to use it for lagers. So lagers could be anything from your American Light lagers, Buds, Bud Lights, uh, Heineken's, all the way. Uh, to your darker lagers, which I have here, uh, which is which are like doppel box. Uh, they're still lagers, they're just darker. And what they're again, it's this glass is designed to showcase the beer. You're gonna okay. These two glasses here are essentially the same glass. This though is a nonic uh, pint glass, and this here is a 12 ounce tumbler glass. They're they're essentially the same thing. And they're just designed uh, to showcase your beer, but give you mad, uh, you know, large quantities of beer. This one being a 16 ounce, this one being 12. Three different things. This one, this tumbler glass, because of its design and because of the ridges that it has in it, is really designed for wheat beers, or Hefeweizens, or 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 any wheat beers that you have. Now this here um, is pretty much just for quantity. Um, it's also convenient. You have like a, a little ridge here. It's a little grip, uh, which is good as well. Same thing on this, except it cuts in. So there's a grip. It just cuts in here. Um, and things for like porters and, and, and stouts, things of that nature, um, you would use this glass for. So I'm lumping these two together because they're essentially the same glass, just for two different purposes. So the next glass we have here is the tulip glass, which as you can see, is the one that gets used most in my house. Um, it is for me, um, because I love Belgian beers, it is what I use the most. Now, this glass is designed for Belgian pale ales. Um, so you would use it for things like Rare Voss, Bidat, you would use it for Triple Carmelite, you would use it for uh, the, the, the Shoof here, and Mischief. These are all pale um, by pale, I mean like golden color, golden straw colored Belgian ales. It's designed to trap and give you a nice volume here of beer, but at the same time trap the head and taper the head, and which creates a nice, you know, two to three, sometimes uh, even more inches of head here at the top. The next glass we have here is the chalice or the goblet. Uh, this is designed uh, to really uh, trap in and create a uh, head. So what you'll have usually on, on these child's glasses, not particularly this one, I have a few up there that, that do, they'll have uh, marks on the side um, and they'll have some etching at the bottom. So this one has one of those uh, 
uh, has a design, an etched design at the bottom. What that design is, is meant to do is really to create carbonation and create the head um, in the beer. So what do you use this for? This is used for dark be Belgian ales. So anything like this, your Ur Continent here to Chimay, any of the Chimay blue, red, uh, yellow, yellow as well, um, you know, St. Bernard's, Ab 12, things like that. Anything that's dark and Belgian goes right here in this glass. The last glass I have for you here is the Snifter. Uh, what these are designed to do, these are designed to showcase uh, the aroma in beers. And, and when I say beer, when I say beers, I, I really prefer, mean high alcohol uh, beer. So anything like an, uh, 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 an imperial stout, which is perfect for this glass. This particular uh, one, KBS, is perfect for this because what it does, this has such a strong coffee flavor. So what it does, it traps all that um, you know beer at the bottom and tapers at the top, much like the tulip glass, and it creates just a small pocket of, of aroma for you. So when you're when you're taking a sip there, you're smelling all that in this case coffee flavor. Uh, smell, excuse me. So um, this beer, this is, uh, you know, again, great for any dark, uh, heavy, when I'm about heavy, by high alcohol uh, beers. Uh, so, okay, so if you don't have anything you need and you, you can't find glasses or you just don't have any um, and you want to try something, um, there are two glasses that you have to have um, and that's uh, a, you know, a glass like this, a pint glass, this was not a pint glass because it's only 12 ounces, but a pint glass like this, um, or anything that's cylindrical. This is just cylindrical, um, it has a taper at the bottom, um, and it's, it's just, you know, it's just a glass, um, but it's very versatile. You can use this for, uh, as I'm drinking here, a wheat, um, to those, to those stouts that I was talking about earlier. Now the second one replaces all those, the, the one, it replaces a chalice, it replaces a tulip, and it replaces a snifter. And it's an oversized red wine glass. This has a large mouth here, and it's hefty. It holds a lot of beer in there. Um, and it's stemmed. So uh, when you're drinking it, you're not touching the chalice and warming up the beer. Or excuse me, you're not touching the glass and warming up the beer. I mean, you're holding it by the stem. Uh, so this can replace three glasses, and that's, again, a goblet, the tulip, and a snifter. So you can use this for the high gravity stouts to the dark Belgians and the light Belgians as well. Um, so if you want to, if you don't have anything and you have an oversized, you know, big red wine glass like this, give it a shot and just to, just to see what it looks like. So if you want uh, any two recommendations on any of these to buy, it's these two right here. This is the same thing. So I'm going to include this as well. Include uh, these are the, the, the glasses to buy because this replaces so many and this goes with so many different styles as well. So, um, so yeah, that's it. That that's my alternative recommendation for you. And these also these also can be found in my uh, previous post about uh, you know buying glass or for four dollars and fifty seven cents, of which both of these were purchased at IKEA. This is an IKEA. I think this was like a dollar fifty. And this was more like seventy five cents, something like that. So combined, you know, combined here we have two dollars and what twenty twenty cents, something like that. So you can't go wrong for two dollars and twenty cents with two glasses. So um, again, they're at IKEA too. So there you go. Okay, so there you have it. You have all the different types of glasses. There are more than this. So if you want uh, to, to find out more information or or, or uh, more glasses that you can um, you can use here, um, you know there are tons out there. Just do the research. There are specific glasses for a specific beers. This one happens to be a Chimay glass designed specifically for Chimay beers. Uh, but it's a chalice, so it doesn't really matter. Uh, this again is is this is a stone. Uh, Imperial Russian stout glass. Um, it's designed for them, but it doesn't necessarily mean that's the only thing you can use it for. Um, you know, you have other beers. The more popular ones are like the Sam Adams glass. Here, let me get that one for you. You have here uh, the Sam Adams glass, which is a great glass. You find these all over the place. Um, and this is also another glass that I use. Um, I don't use it as regularly as these, but I do use this one as well. So, um, in, in the end, if you're looking 
uh, to get your, your your glassware started, you know, start simple, start small. You might just want to try that red wine glass out that I told you, or one of these, one of these two here, uh, just to get you started and just to see if you can notice any difference. And trust me, you will uh, notice a difference when you're drinking out of a glass instead of the bottle. So, um, if you have any com, if you have any comments or you have any questions, leave them on the comment section below, and um, you know, I'll be happy to answer you back. So, keep drinking and take it easy. Thank you.